Got the laser dance party going on. Got the laser dance party going on. Look at the rave that's going on from that magical, really scary head face thing. Oh, the sadness of the head face thing. It just fills me with despair. Oh, the despair that comes from that thing, and the fact that the armor is hollow. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Okami. Last episode, uh, we got through a very good deal of Oni Island. If I can show you guys on the map here, uh, we... Let's see, we started, I believe, at the second floor or something? Some such? We started on a floor, and we're now on the fourth floor. And we've traversed four, uh, yeah, four floors thus far. So there shouldn't not, should not be much more of Oni Island left to cover. Uh, I kind of decided that this, this man needed a ballot. Because he is the really sad man. He has glowy, glowy eyes, and I'm not coming up with a good tune. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, when we ended it off that we were in this room with shiny floors and uh, stuff. I was trying to rhyme there, but it didn't work. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and grab this key and get this started before I make any more awkward intros, because because everyone knows how awkward that intro was. Okay, so we get we have another key uh, to ferry around, and this key actually gives us the Oni Island map. I said that we we're almost on Oni Island, so it's probably not the best time to give us a map. But now that we have that, I actually am curious how much this. Whoa! Never mind. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're we traversed four floors. Yes, but there are four. There are four more to go. Okay. Um. Yes, okay, I, that's a thing. We're... <laughs> wow. Floor-wise, we're a little bit more than halfway through the dungeon, because there are the two basement floors to consider. I'm not... I, I believe those are fairly small, however. Uh, be before we, we go up, up a floor, I would like to explore the lower floor, because I feel like that would give us a good base for when we're going up. You see, there's a lockjaw over there, and another one of those laser guys. I'm just gonna call them BMOS! Uh, and a battle, okay. That was not expected. Uh, have I shown this off? Have I shown off how much uh, Thunderstorm does? It actually does a very decent amount of damage. Let's try it on this guy. Yeah, it does a good amount of damage, but not as much as... Well, let me show you. Not as much as this does. Boom! Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, let's go ahead and chase down this Executioner Guardian down and kill him till he's dead. Boom. Okay, that was that was pretty good, man. This game, this na game knows so well how to take me by surprise. Like all of the traps in this game, I expect. I mean, I don't expect them, and uh, the designers knew that I would get freaked out by quite a few things in this game. It's not a horror game, and oh man, you guys probably wouldn't want me to play a horror game, but it it does know how to bring out the scares in you. Uh, let's see. I believe that we've traversed the bottom floor, so let's go ahead and go up those stairs near the beginning of this area so we can uh, jump around on those platforms up there. Okay, so we have a nice uh, nice little cinematic showing us that the the platforms are a thing. That's, that's nice. Thank you, game. I believe I knew that they were a thing. Uh, interesting. Nothing else. There's a platform up there, which will probably be led to. Uh, I, I really don't want to over over examine all of this because then it kind of spoils the the surprise factor. Frequently, this game does surprise me, and I don't want to ruin that surprise. Although, to be fair, these cinematics, <laughs> if if anything was going to spoil me as to what I'm go about to have to handle, these cinematics would do it. Okay, now I'm really really <laughs> I I lost sight of everything I held dear for a moment there. I'm so curious whether or not if you uh, if you jump jump through one of these platforms from below, whether or not they're going to be solid, or if uh, you'll actually just like pass through them and then they'll be solid once you go through. I'm not sure. That'd be a good thing for you guys to post in the comments. Okay, an exorcism slip. Whoa, that was close. And a blocking spider. Wait. Okay and some stuff above us. 
which is to be expected because this is, now that we know it, this this dungeon has ten floors in total. It has eight above ground floors and two basement floors, so that that is important to know. Okay, uh, this is, uh, to get down below this, all you have to do is let go of the key, and it should join you down below, if I can chase it down, there it is. So yeah, there you go. Uh, you obtain pearl, yay, pearl, dog. <laughs> and there's no switch to, to uh, raise this, or lower this. I would have thought there would be, but there is not. Uh, and anywhere else we need to go? Aha! This is the only way for us to get out. This shiny thing behind the tapestry, or curtain, or scroll, or... I don't know. Uh, let's see. If I remember right, judging by my, my little walkthrough... Literally a walkthrough earlier. This should put us right next to the door. Yes, it does. Okay, so let's see if I can drop this without actually having to get the other key. I mean, without having to go back and get it. Let's see. Ready, set, go. Let's go, 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 go. Okay, here's my thought. Here's my thought. If I can drop this one. No, it's gone. I was hoping that maybe I could, like, drop it. Uh, and then go grab this one, drop it, pick up the other one to refresh the timer, and then... No, but it didn't work. It's actually it's actually entirely possible that the keys don't run on a timer, they run on a radius. So, if you go X number of steps away from a key, it will despawn. That's, that's entirely possible, I can see that happening. Uh, if so, if that's the case, then what I could have done is uh, instead of uh, left the key, this key in the middle of that hallway, I could have uh, kind of juggled the keys. So I would pick one up, throw it, pick the other one up, throw it, and then I wouldn't have to go back. But I'm not sure if that's exactly how it works. But anyway, uh, we don't need any Conan Blossoms because with this key we can create platforms. No! That stunk. Uh... Whoa! I almost made the same mistake. Don't do that, Amaterasu. I love you, girl, but don't don't do that, please, please. If if you if you value my my Toby, sup, Toby? Uh, how you hanging, dog? I call people dog a lot. It's partially because of, if you'd believe this, my mom. I I would say I would end my sentences in dog every now and then just for funsies. And she picked up on it, and she started doing it, which is really, really funny. Um, and I guess it got me doing it even more, because it's pretty noticeable, I think. Uh, so, sir? Yep, yep. So, you have made it this far, have you? I must tell you, good sir, the time for fun and games is over. Yep, yep. For it is my sworn duty, duty to stand guard here. Yep, yep. But during our competition... Oh, how shall I put it? Uh, I became rather fond of you, good sir. Yep. Yep. The sight of you, risking your life in a gallant charge. Yep. That is something I simply must see again. Yep. Um. <laughs> Have I failed as a gatekeeper for feeling so? Yep. So, you see, good sir. Yep. I wish to live a life of competition. Yep. To come this far only to give up? Yep. No, that is not me. Yep. I care not if I'm a failure as a gatekeeper. Yep. Let us make this race a race for the ages. Okay. So, there's some character development with this guy. He's... He's seeing the light. He's it's not all about duty anymore. It's more about it's more about uh about being the best he can be. Okay, which I admire. Uh this one should be fairly straightforward. We're going to need need Veil of Mist for it, but it should not be that difficult and it isn't. Ow! St trap. Why would they put a trap right around a corner? That's like the best place to put a trap and it's cheating. Wait a minute. Uh, there's a Conan Blossom up there. Uh, we can come back to it, I guess. I'll just beat Toby. There, I beat Toby. And now I want to use the Konohana Blossom up. Konohana Blossom. Co sorry, Konohana Blossom up. I'm really curious about this because this could be seen as sequence break. And I'm really curious. Um, this is... This is really spoilery, but if we uh, if we look closely at this wall, we'll see that there is a, a graphical glitch through it. Now, if we bomb it, I'm not sure if it will work. Will it work? I'm really curious. Will it? No. Okay. Yeah, I just have to try. I, I just had to try that because of 
you know, my experience with this game before, I remembered that, th that this was a thing, and that I should probably test see if this was sequence break, but it's not. So we will be returning to up, up there later, so there's some foreshadowing. Okay, pointless golden gate. Whoa! Oh, I saw that trap before I was hit with it. Can't, you can't fool me, game. That, that was almost really cheap. It actually was kind of cheap. Those, those traps really get you. So does this. Okay, these guys. We have their floral finishers now, by the way. Uh, they are thunderstorm, so I guess I can show the enemy bio. Come on, I want to kill this guy, please. Let's do this. And go ahead and change the camera. There, that's what I want. There. Two, three, four. Slow down time. One, two, three, four. Other leg. One, two, three, four. That's it. Feel the burn. Okay, let's kill him with that. And then slow down. One, two, three. One, two. Oh, we're out of rhythm. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm actually kind of... I'm kind of mimicking Wii Fit right now. <laughs> That's it. Feel the burn. Yeah. I, I I don't know of any other quotes that Wii Fit Trainer makes in Smash because I don't play her much in Smash. I mostly play Ness because he's high tier. I don't play him just because he's high tier. Mostly because I, I like him. He's awesome. Boom. As soon as I have the ability to capture uh, Smash 4, I will probably release some, some form of content. Okay, you're dead too. Now that actually makes me curious, first of all, 7,000 yen, but uh, it makes me curious as to how many demon fangs, we barely have any, okay, we only have 68 demon fangs, which really shows how much the game has been centered on fighting, and by that I mean it has not been centered on fighting recently, so yeah, it's interesting. Also, this makes me really, really curious why they have lightning here, because they, they put the lightning here. Uh, with the hopes of you using it as the floor fincher to the to the the, the enemies, but we have the key, which makes me wonder: is there an optional part somewhere where we could place the key? I don't know. Okay, let's go through here. Uh, where I go? Uh, that way is the only option. Seems to be the only option, except for the fact that I can not jump up there. Okay, let's let's go. Un wait. Is this where we came from? I believe it is. Yeah, that's where that's exactly where we came from. Okay, that that is cheap. That, my friends, is that is like the epitome of of cheapness. You guys see that, right? It's you guys agree with me because the only indicator that you have that that is a trap are the couple of pixels showing at the bottom of that of that blind that's like what you know you walk through you'd never expect it but you get hit anyway you, it's like it's like a guaranteed uh guaranteed hit from the game to you it was like you know what we didn't want to make a hazard where you know we, it would just immediately kill you but we wanted to give you give some this game some hazards that you pretty much would never avoid on your first run okay i'm curious can i get up here can I get up here? Yes, I can. But what does it do for me? Nothing. Okay. Uh, wait. Ah, oh, guys, look. I found a se- Oh, wow. I found a secret, guys, up there. I, I, ne I did not know about this exi the existence of this. Jump. 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 Oh. Oh, so that's why they wanted you to have the key. It all makes sense now. Okay. Let's be careful so I don't fall into the acid because that would not- be good. Uh, and can I do this with just a normal jump? Or do I... N no way would I have... Actually, way... Aha! Stars above! That is cool. Okay, you guys see this? This is like the coolest secret ever. Okay, let me show you. Because it's not entirely obvious. Uh, let's go ahead and use this. Use catwalk on here. Needless to say, hitting the spikes will not be good for your cause or anyone's cause okay but we're, what we're supposed to do first of all can i jump up here no i can't is with this cat statue i can use it to go over there oh wow that is such a cool secret that is so cool i was wondering if there was a use for uh 
Ugh. If there was a use for this key and why we still had it, but it was for this. Now, what is in here? Sorry, what is in here? No, what is in here? Game, in here. What is it? Exorcism Flabel? No, it's a crystal, okay. That, that's a really good secret. I never expected that. Okay, can we... No, it's it's already disappearing. Let's do this. And get as far as we can without dying. That didn't work out too well, but I didn't fall into the acid. I still want to hold on to this key because I, you never know. There may be one more secret. That... Oh! Snap. Okay, good. I still have the key. Oh, I was really worried about that. But what I was saying was... That, that may the secret that we just encountered may have been one where really really <laughs> this is actually kind of it's kind of pitiful I feel sorry for myself self pity is not good but in this case oh I, I thought I fell again in this case it's it's funny oh yeah so what I was saying was I, I was wondering if that was a secret where it was like a pseudo secret they give you something so you feel good about yourself, but then you think you, there's no more need for the key. And then, if you lose it, you're like, man, it, I'd pro I got the secret anyway. But, it looks like that actually sort of was the case. It, it actually looks more like a... It looks more like this is the obvious secret, and the one behind us was the less obvious secret. So I'm not expecting great things from this. Well, actually a pearl, which is worth more than, than a crystal, so... That's good. Okay, let's jump down here, and that spider freaked me out. And I see that that spider, so I'm not going to get freaked out by that one. Yeah, I've I've gotten freaked out by these spiders in the past. Okay, let's run through. Okay, I'm I'm expecting a battle here, or was this where I just was? I don't think so. There's a, yeah, there's going to be a battle here, and for some reason I have negative godhood, which I'm not a fan of, but I don't really I don't really care. Okay, boom, ba bisky biscuits, yeah, biscuits and clams, biscuits and clams, and you're dead. That is the power of biscuits and clams. Now imagine this, imagine a Matarasu. She, she almost kills, she just, she mortally wounds an enemy, and then as they're falling down, ready to bleed out and die, they land on an explosive, and it blows them apart. That is, like, the worst way to go. Well, it, it, it's better than drowning, I guess. I mean, drowning, in my opinion, that'd be, that'd be far, far worse. That'd be... Uh, I've actually heard that, like, drowning is actually pretty peaceful. There it is, okay. I've heard that drowning's pretty peaceful, but I would not... I would not wish it upon anyone, I don't think. They're just... If I wanted someone dead... <laughs> Why am I talking about this? But if I wanted someone dead, really, I would not, I probably wouldn't wish a painful death on them. I just want them dead. Like, they could die in the most peaceful way possible as long as they were dead. If I wanted someone dead, mind you, I'm not, I don't wish anyone dead. Uh, I may have to check with my, with, with Future Pal on that one. Future Pal, uh, put on the screen right now. Do you wish anyone dead, sir? I, I'm really curious. Do you wish anyone dead? Yes? No? I'm guessing he'll say no. Hopefully he's, he says no, because a future pal uh, says no, uh, says yes, and that means something's going to happen between this pal and future pal, and it's going to be bad, which means it's going to happen with him like the next day, because I'm going to edit this like tomorrow. So if he wants anyone dead, then that means something bad's about to happen within like the next hour, which I don't want. And I'm overthinking this too much. We have Blockhead. Gaha! I am Blockhead. I guard this place so that all shall pass. Or wait, um, make that none so none shall pass. Oh, you again. You really want t me to keep picking at your weak points? What are you talking about? <clears throat> now, where was I? Oh yes. You are that terrible assassin who has been slaying my brethren. The white demon. Hey, assassin. White connections, guys. Con white and red connections. Yeah. It's, it's a thing. <laughs> Looks like you got a new nickname, Furball. I foresaw your coming. I am the shadowy ruler of Oni Island. Be warned, I am far different from my brethren. Though you may be the white demon of death, you cannot slay me. Now, be on your way. You shall not pass. Uh, it says tackle right now, but we actually have to jump and tackle. Let's see if I can get this first try. Boom. 
One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's actually... That isn't easy. One, two, three, four, five? Gaha! Oh, it's just like a pixel off! That was like the easiest... That, that was like the easiest configuration in the world. Because it, they were all in a, in a counterclockwise order. Man. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Um... One, two, three, four, five. Yeah! Second try! Oh my. So that is the true power of the white demon of death. You so easily struck at my weak points. And after I trained so hard to cover them up too, I, blockhead, must submit to defeat. Still, I am the shadowy ruler of Oni Island. Do not dishonor me, at least in my hour of death. I shall succumb to oblivion with honor. He's dead, and I... <laughs> that wasn't very... He wanted honor, but that sound effect was not very... Honor... Honorful? Respectful? I don't know. Toby! I am indeed no match for you, good sir. Your eyes, ever focused on tomorrow, have led you to the climax. Of course, I do not mean our petty little races. Oh, mighty warrior who seeks the castle summit on Oni Island. The true climax of your adventure, your adventure is close at hand. Toby never felt such competitive fire until you, good sir. Though I cannot join you. I'm, I shall send you off with a final dash. Scrap. All right, good sir. Now for the race to end them all. Make it one that I shall never forget. Okay, uh... I, I suppose I could cheat with this and go ahead and go over there and blow up that wall and deal with those pots, but you know what? I've come to respect Toby. Not like any of those imps that I've fought. I, I respect him. In fact, he is... He is actually one of my favorite characters in this game. He's... He's funny. I mean... Toby, man. <laughs> he's Toby. A floating evil strip of paper who races you. How- it can't get much better than that. Okay, and he doesn't even attack you. He's not even like a bad guy. He's supposed to be a gatekeeper, but really all he wants to do is race. So I am- I'm a fan of this character. Okay, uh, a race to end them all. My plan is, is, uh, instead of jumping from this- from here to there, although I think I could make it, uh, I would like to jump up onto that- up onto that, uh, mantle, and then jump down there, just for style points. Okay. Oh, but first, I did want to point something out. You see that every time we start a battle, he gives us money. If we just stand on the switch, we can actually grind for money, and we'll get quite a lot. Uh, so yeah, this is a very, very decent way to grind for money, because it... it oops. <laughs> I dropped the controller. I actually stepped on the cord. Sorry about that. Uh, no key! No key! Key... Key! Oh, he, key's in my hand. Oh, uh, in my mouth. Okay, never mind. Okay, <laughs> going back to what I was saying after that <laughs> that catastrophe, um, you can just stand on this, go and eat a sandwich, and when you come back, you'll have a lot more money. I do believe that the money will phase out after a while. Uh, I I think, but for the for the most part, you can do this at every single switch and just grind for money. And you don't even have to do anything. Like I said, you can just go eat a sandwich. You could leave this off. Uh, you could leave this on while you watch a movie or something, and you can come back with thousands of yet with thousands of more yen. Oh, wait, nope, my bad. That's where the that's where it phases out. He don't, he's no longer giving us yen. Now I'm wondering if that affects his performance at all. If he goes like slower when that happens, I hope not, because otherwise otherwise this is not the true the true race that should be. Okay, a race to end them all. In three, two, one, go! Jump, jump, jump! No! Snark, give the bear. Uh, let's get back up there. In fact, I think I will take a slight advantage by destroying those pots. Okay, pots, be gone. Because those those kind of pushed me off the edge. There. Okay, ready, Toby? This time, it's for reals. The other times, I was just playing, sir. Jump! Okay, now, let's blow this up. Boom! Now we're back where you've seen the before, and we beat him! Truly amazing, good sir. I am so glad we could part like this. I hope my final dash pleased you, good sir. 
<laughs> you're not bad for a, p a scrap of paper. And even though you're an enemy, I guess I should commend you. I feel so very inf very fortunate to have a great man as yourself witness my final moment. Hey, hey, scrap! Why are you talking talking like you're about to vanish at any second? I have violated the precepts and thus and shall thusly be er erased. So it is I who must bid you a farewell. I shall now accept my fate for abandoning my duty as a gatekeeper. Y you mean? Oh, do not be sorry for me, good sir. This was the life of my own choosing. I treasured it, and no one can ever take that away from me. Though I may have been a mere servant of spirits, I should at least be allowed to do what I please at my passing. For otherwise, my life would have been in vain. I fear I shall not be able to guide you the rest of the way. I wish I had a bouquet of flowers to present you at this farewell. But alas, I must part with you empty-handed. Please forgive me. Farewell, good sir. And good luck. There he goes. Just a scrap of paper and now a flower. And now he's gone. Toby. It was more than a petty little race. Perhaps I wouldn't have been gotten I wouldn't have gotten this far without you. With that true spirit of competition you showed me, I can now face the biggest challenge of my life thus far. The focus is turned on to Isun, it seems. He he's referring to Amaterasu and himself as I, as us. Or not us, just I. And so he sees this as his quest, as well as Amaterasu. We're definitely seeing a change in Isun. Uh, yeah, if, you'll re if you remember, just a little bit earlier this episode, we were standing right here. Uh, except this gate was gone. And thus, we are at the seventh floor. Alright, here we are. The seventh floor. The top is right above us. I'm going to go ahead and save just real quick, and then we can get down to business, like the Huns. Or, to defeat the Huns. There we are. Uh, I'm curious... Okay, I, ca I can't jump onto the roof, but... Why would we want to? We are at the very end. We have some pots here. Presumably they have health in them. Or ink. Why is there ink? I don't even get why ink is a thing. It's just strange. Okay. Here's the top. Oh! Oh, oh, oh! Now that I remembered, my my apologies. Uh, I do not want to use infinity, the infinity judge, as my weapon. I would actually like to use the exorcism beads. Uh, why I chose this, um, you remember I, last episode I did waffle between what weapon I should choose, and I actually changed my decision again to feature the exorcism beads and seven strike, um, mainly because I, I did some research as to what this boss fight actually is, um, so I would have more details on it, and I found that this is the better weapon of choice. While another weapon might be better for, um, ironic or story's sake, this is the best weapon. Plus, it was the weapon of Blight, so, or the weapon we got from Blight, so I feel like it's still fitting. And Seven Strike, the sword of, of Seon City, is still with us, and it grants Ink Bullet power, which I've never used, which I probably should in this battle. I will try to remember. Okay, uh, before we go in, I think I should do Traveler's Charm, and another one, and now we are at full godhood, and now, I, only now, am I confident about this. Let's go. Here's the very, very top. I have to say, this is so much more atmospheric than, than the moon cave. We have lava, we have just this big, this big platform, it's, it's amazing. I have to praise this game. But anyway, let's go up. You feel that weird vibe this place is giving off on me? It may be quiet now, but I've got a major sense of the creeps. I know she's watching us from the shadows. She's ready to strike at any moment. You ready, Ami? Now I am ready. Yes, let's go. Excellent. I can't wait to cut loose and go berserk. Let's teach that fox-headed wench a lesson. Well, 
Looks like we finally reached the top of the castle. Now, where's that fox-headed wench hiding? The great Isun's going to avenge Queen Himiko. A constellation? Here? I can't believe it could shine in such an evil place. So, Matarasu, you have crept into my castle like a sneaky little mouse, have you? By the power of Yami, the ruler of the Land of Darkness, I, Ninetales, have been made Lord of Ryushima Coast. You needn't have come all this way just for me to kill you. I would have found you and done so just the same. Just like I did to Queen Himiko. Yami, Land of Darkness? Never heard of either of them. And I don't remember ever giving you my okay to rule Ryoshima Coast. Yami is the absolute ruler of all evil beings. He is the ultimate symbol of darkness. And he is nothing like those false gods of your fairy tales. False gods, you're the one going around pretending to be a priestess and building, f and building fishy hideouts like this. We're going to expose you for what you are, once and for all! <laughs> we shall see, O oh furry one. Prepare to face the wrath of my terrible power. A power far beyond your so-called gods. Okay, the battle with Ninetales. You can clearly see that she considers herself one of the deities of Nippon. She is mirroring this, this place of the Celestials, this very ethereal place and she made her approach via a constellation so going about the going about this battle uh, she has many different attacks that uh, you there are no brush techniques to counter except for this one when she tries to charge up nine strike her dark instrument you need to use uh, thunderbolt on it and stun her this is why I chose uh, the the exorcism beads as a weapon of choice because you're going to be attacking so many enemies at once you're going to be building up a lot of godhood however since there are so many weapons at, uh, so many enemies at once you won't be doing very much damage to single target so you want to use a steel fist sake to take care of more of them at once and you also want to slow down time to give you the, your, ra your action time available to block their attacks and to avoid them uh, we've already killed one of them and we've also already built up Godhood, uh, but their attacks are very hard hitting. The 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 um, the evil row you want to take out first is the fat one, as her attacks hit hit the hardest. And you also want to dodge all the fox fire flying around. You can see I've actually taken a d a lot of health during this, but I was able to take out one last evil row. Uh, each each evil row has different attributes, and as you can see, as you take out e e the rows, uh, you the tails on nine tails will actually disappear. Okay, there we go. Uh, Veil of Mist is, a, is very good for dodging her rush attack, which is a lot like a Matarasu's headbutt, albeit faster and more powerful and actually used as an attack. Okay, this is another one we'll see. Uh, she'll use her tails and bring them up below you. You just want to keep running. Do not get cornered or you will have a very hard time at it. Okay, here's her charge up attack. Let's go ahead and punish that. If you allow that attack to commence, uh, you'll be hit extremely hard with it, and it does a lot of damage. So let's go ahead and do this. Oh, another thing I should note. Ow. Another thing I should note is when you use your brush techniques, do not, uh, do not 
waste your time on the brush screen because if you do you can see that another brush will appear on screen and start using another technique and that is Ninetales. Ninetales actually has access to brush techniques. Uh, she has Gale Storm, Cherry Bomb, uh, one technique that we do not have, and one more? I forgot what it was, so Future Pal put it on screen. Okay, that, those are the last of the, of the fox. Oh wait, no, there's one more. My apologies. Oh, I know which one it is. Okay, let's start running. The one problem with equipping uh, the exorcism beads for this battle is that it's harder to start running, and thus you're going to be sl slowing town time down a lot more often. But once you get up full speed, just keep it up, and this is their po poison attack. You can just keep running and keep your distance. There's no way to guard against that. It's not like Nine Tails, or sorry, it's not like Odor Tree where you could use Gale Storm to block it. You just run away. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not good. Okay, almost. She almost got to use her technique. Okay, the last one is right here. Oh, it's not its not the old route. Jump, jump. Okay, that was close. Oh, that lingering hitbox still hit me. No, not going to hit me. There you go. Take that. Whoa, you... You die. Die. There. Now, it looks like they actually have floral finishers. Uh, if they do, I'll put those on screen right now because it looks like they do. Uh, let's see. Next, we have the true form of Ninetales. You'll see that the facade of Ninetales being a deity is gone, and you can see that it's just a very old fox. Very wary and battle scarred. Uh, and you can also see that it's missing one eye. That is the reason for Evil Rao having her hair covering one eye. That was one of the discrepancy between real Rao and Evil Rao. That was because in Rao's true form, without the fox rods, uh, she is actually missing one eye. Okay, so Evil Rao has two attacks. She has the headbutt rush attack, but she also has the nine strike attack. Punish them both the same way. However, you, you should note the headbutt is a lot faster. A lot faster. So you will pretty much always need Veil of Mist to guard against that. Uh, after using a lot of headbutts, uh, she will slow down, in which you, in case you can punish that. Okay, there we go. Uh, come on, come on. Whoa! Veil of Mist. Oh, I still took I still took some, some godhood there. Okay, uh, this should do a good deal of health. When Ninetales is gray, you can totally wail on her and use Power Slash as her, invulner as her vulnerability wears off. Because that does a ton of damage! Snap, I'm not going to be getting a good damage ranking on this. In fact, one more hit and I think I'm gone. But I th I'm good because I have some godhood and I could pull it out in the end! <sighs> wow. I, that, w that went to the point where one more hit, I, I believe I was dead. I mean, I had my Astral Pouch, but that just goes to show how, how tough Ninetales is and how quick she was. So glad that she's out of the way. So, for defeating Ninetales, we get the Blade of Kusanagi. Jade edged, edged Glaive obtained upon the defeat of Ninetales. Himiko's death had been avenged. Amaterasu's tenacity had proven too much for Ninetales. The fearsome beast lay defeated, its true nature laid bare for all to see. In death, it was reduced to no more than a tired old fox. Oni Island, pining for its master, raised a din and began to crumble. Like a funer funerary offering, it scattered into flowers. Otohime, who had transformed into the water dragon, returned to the dragon palace, her role fulfilled. Ninetales' monstrous countenance, removed from its master, moved skyward, transforming into a wisp of pure and utter blackness. There, it joined the, the spirit of its defeated master. Even Blight showed up, lending a hand to the fallen Ninetales. Pulsing and undulating, they intertwined in midair. Then, the black mass moved toward the land to the extreme north. Four such blackened spirits had emerged from Orochi's corpse. Perhaps these two were off to join their remaining brethren. Left behind were Ninetales' words about the Dark Lord, Yami. Could it be that this formidable creature resided to the north? 
Amaterasu, sensing a dark presence, trembled. The diminutive Isun, who had accompanied Amaterasu bravely, felt a tinge of hesitation in his heart, for he had predicted that the journey would end when all thirteen powers were restored. With only one power remaining, a tiny frown creased his face. At any rate, their next target was waiting in the frozen north. Their adventure was far from over. No time to rest on your laurels, uh, laurels, Ami. Defeating Ninetales didn't bring Himiko back, but at least you could you can send her off, her, send her spirit off with a heroic howl. That was kind of expected. I did not perform that that well in that battle, but it was it you know it things happen. So that is going to be it for this episode. Uh, it, as as per the deal with Orochi, this game is far from over. Uh, we have knocked out a majority of it, but it it is it, there are many episodes left for sure. This game, this LP is going to be longer than Skyward Sword. I'm just going to throw that out right now because that's that's what it's looking like and I believe that's what it's going to be. So there's a lot more adventure to be had. Uh, next episode, we're actually not going to be going to the extreme north uh, because with the defeat of Ninetales, a lot of side quests opened up to us. Uh, side quests, stray beads, <clears throat> and pain. Pain. Uh, you guys can find out more about what pain means next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I release new episodes of Okami Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Saturdays are long episodes. If you like this episode, then comment. If you didn't like this episode, then comment and tell me how I could make next episode so that you would like it. Okay, join me next time. <sighs> the second saga ends, so the third shall begin.